America, we have a problem. The U.S. will need an estimated 1 million people to work the election polls this year due to a mass exodus of baby boomers who've long held those roles. The U.S. Election Assistance Commission says it is tapping millennials to help address the rising shortage, recruiting workers through schools and other unconventional means. So we're going to bring in Sarah Caswell. She's a science and special education teacher at Lincoln High, and she's been recruiting students to work the poll since 2021. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, how are you? So what gave you this idea to get the younger generation involved? Uh, I was actually reached out to um, by the ward officials in my neighborhood who are responsible for staffing the elections and asked um, if I had any students who would be interested in working because they were so short staffed following the pandemic. So I started out with eight kids in 2021 at the primary um, and here we are a few years later and this last election, I had almost 40 kids between my current students and alumni. So for these teenagers, what are some of the things that they're actually doing while they're at the polling centers? Uh, they do everything, everything that any other poll worker would do from setting up the, the table, setting up the machines, logging into the machines and getting them running, uh, checking in get uh, the voters as they come during the day and then closing everything out at night and sealing it up for the police officer to, to take the votes away. Are these all necessarily honor students or are they people who kind of, you know, cross the spectrum and come from all sorts of different backgrounds? Actually, as a special education teacher, I started out working with students with disabilities my first election um, as a way to give them an opportunity to experience job training and to experience what it's like to go out in the world and interact with customers of a sort. Yeah. Um, and it's grown. So now we have students of all abilities, um, students with autism, students with intellectual disabilities. We have students from our deaf and hard of hearing program who communicate exclusively with sign language. Um, and we have honors students as well, um, but it's a mix and it represents the diversity of our school community. And I think that's great. Yeah, beautiful. I, my first job was scooping ice cream. I lifeguarded pools, worked in a cafe as a food runner. Uh, but I would have loved to do this because it really starts to get you into the, the patriotic spirit, doesn't it? When, when you're young and starting to learn about the voting process, since it's not compulsory in the United States like it is elsewhere, do you think this helps energize young people to get out and vote? Um, I think it definitely is a way of connecting kids to a process that they're largely disconnected from. Many of our students have parents who do not vote, have never voted, and so they feel largely disconnected from this process. But by getting them into the polls and having them see uh, how it happens and how every vote does, in fact, really count, uh, they also start asking questions about the questions that are on the ballot or the different positions that are being elected. And it's far more real life than sitting in a classroom and just telling them how important it is to be civically engaged and to vote. Yeah, well, as long as we're keeping the integrity of the elections, that's the most important thing. Sarah Caswell, thank you so much for your time today. I hope you and your family have a great Memorial Day weekend. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.